Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up the database connection with the information I sent you in the email. The first thing you need to do is to create a new uh, PHP document. So you just choose PHP. That opens up a, a, the new document window. Once that's open, you click on databases. You click on the plus sign, MySQL connection. This is obviously assuming that you've already correctly set up the web server. The, the connection name doesn't really matter what it is, but it won't let you have spaces in certain characters. So I'm just going to call it Stout for now. Now the MySQL server, I sent you that uh, information in the email that I sent you, uh, but it looks something like that. The username on this is database aw, and the password I sent you in the email. Once you've entered that, you choose this select, and it's going to move some files around. And then you should come up with this window, and it's going to have the name of the database in here. You choose that, and it's the database AW. Ch choose that and click OK, and then you can test it, and it's going to tell you if the, the connection was made successfully. Um, after that, um, then you're ready to go in to do the bindings and the um, which creates a record set so uh, if I choose bindings I choose that plus from up there I choose a record set this it allows me to choose from the larger database a set of records I gotta set my connection that I'm using and then that goes out and it looks at the uh, database that I'm gonna the, the choices that are there and I choose customers and then I'm gonna choose all for this case I choose test and it's going to show me the data that it is seeing in the database. So you know at that point you've done it right. Then you click OK and then that record set is available for you to use. The next thing that you need to do is that you need to choose an insert behavior. And again, in this case, I'm going to use a dynamic table and I'm going to use record set one that I set up in the bindings. And then I click OK and that inserts that information into my uh, PHP document. I will have to save and synchronize uh, that information, especially the first time. Then I can choose live to view it. Um, oh, I got to save the file. And it's going to, again, every time you go to view it, it's going to move the stuff up there. Now, if you get this, that means you haven't synchronized your site yet. Completely synchronize your site. And then try it again. And then you should be able to pull up your data, and that uh, completes what you need to do.